Welcome to Sky Song. Today here with us is Nadif Jama, the founder of the Islamic Banking in Kenya, and now he's running for the governorship of Garissa County. Thank you, Nadif Jama, for visiting us here in Minnesota. We really appreciate uh, giving us uh, this time uh, to talk to us about what visions you have for Garissa County. I should just jump straight to the questions, and I would like to ask you, uh, as the, you're running for the governorship of Garissa County, what is your general vision of Garissa County? Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, thank you very much uh, um, uh, for giving me this opportunity through Skycom um, uh, channel. Um, my vision for Garissa County is a big vision. Uh, basically, it's a vision that I think if um, God willing we, um, we succeed, we should be seeing Garissa County um, a different world. Um, at the moment, the way things stand, Garissa County is a, a marginalized zone of, of Kenya. <clears throat> it's a zone whereby we see ourselves um, basically um, having remained behind, uh, you know, from development perspectives as far as Kenya is concerned. Uh, we see ourselves as people who uh, miss jobs, our, our youth are jobless, uh, our women are, in, are not empowered, uh, we do not have uh, the appropriate infrastructure, we do not have uh, the right education system, and then many, many other issues really. I think, um, uh, and, and therefore, if I if I'm given the opportunity to lead or to head that county, my intention, obviously, and my vision is to uh, do something, um, uh, you know, first enough uh, to bring things back to track, um, i.e., um, with the basic amenities, the life requirements, uh, work on empowering the youth, employment for the youth, um, um, and, 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 you know, change a lot in terms of our education system, in terms of working on the infrastructure so that we can develop the, 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 the towns of the county. Uh, and, and, and many, many other issues. So really, um, it's a vision for development, basically, put it that way, a vision for development. There is, historically, there has been a disconnect between youth and politics. There is also has been a disconnect between youth and wealth. A lot of youth are, are frustrated, uh, you know, they feel like they, can, they will, can do better if they get an opportunity. What will you do about that if you are in a position? If I'm given the opportunity, my a priority for me really, uh, my first pri one of my first priorities is really um, youth empowerment. Now, how do we empower? You know, it's easier said than done. But what what do what are my intentions? First of all, we have to immediately create job uh, opportunities for the youth. There's no question of really empowering the youth, and uh, we have no jobs for them. Um, and therefore, my first attention will be really, what can we do first uh, to push as many of these young men as possible uh, in, into jobs, so they can they, they can feel uh, being part of, of, of you know uh, the society that 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 is, that is taking care of them. Uh, there's no point of really you know it's hopeless, a hopelessness of the highest order for uh, you know a young man, a young woman to have finished his school uh, many years ago. Uh, out into the streets there, no jobs, no nothing, and um, uh, you, you know, and we expect them to be to take any meaningful role in the, in, in the society. It can just work. So, as far as I'm concerned, I think really um, I'll do everything within my capacity to create job opportunities for them. Now, what are examples? Um, a simple example is if, if, for instance, we can create um, one major factory uh, in Garissa we can employ just as a good number of youth uh, that probably, uh, you know, at the moment are on, on the streets. And therefore, um, these are the kind of things. For me, therefore, if, to answer your question, as far as um, uh, the youth empowerment is concerned, it's job creation, nothing more than that. And well, we need to work on that. Now, as far as them um, being disconnected from uh, politics. politics is concerned, um, Yes, again, I think the, the systems that were there did not just give the youth the appropriate opportunity for them to play the role uh, or any meaningful role in politics, but 
I think the current constitution uh, of Kenya uh, basically allows uh, the youth to partake in politics meaningfully and effectively. Uh, and actually, there are whole sections of, of, the, of the constitution um, you know, dedicated to the youth and their uh, involvement. And uh, by all means, uh, in any case, um, we do want the youth. I think I personally will say that um, if these politics, and particularly the politics of our region, if we do not have the youth coming in, we will not get it right. Because in our area, for instance, Garissa County, 60% um, of those uh, who vote, 60% of uh, you know, the population are said to be, if not more, are said to be the youth. You can't really uh, do much without uh, the participation of 60% of the population into, into politics. So um, it is our intention, and indeed it should be that the youth play a big role in politics, and, and uh, particularly so if we really have to succeed. That, that's, my, that's my take on that. Governor Nadif, what makes you unique or separate from the other candidates who are running for the same position? Um, really, um, everybody has the right to compete for, for any post. It's, we're in a democratic country. Um, I hope I'm, I'm unique, but um, if anything uh, uh, will make me unique, uh, or rather, uh, you know, um, uh, different, from the, 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 the other com, you know, competitors or the other runmates uh, for, for, the, for, the, for the post of governorship, I think it's really a question of um, what value proposition you're bringing on the table. Do you have, as a person, anything that the people can, can look back and say, we believe this man can perform? If somebody has not had any previous track record that can be looked into meaningfully, um, it becomes difficult for, 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 for him to be, to be the right person because um, there is no history, there is no experience, there is no track record to fall back on. I believe, given my uh, history, as far as bringing First Community Bank uh, to the ground, uh, to starting that institution, to taking it to the different village and towns of Garissa, to employing the youth, uh, the 300 uh, you know, young men and women uh, in the bank, uh, to empower the community. By, by offering them, by giving them um, subsidized loans and facilities, uh, you know, for them to start their businesses, to bring in uh, new products that uh, are dedicated to the county, like a product that we have created in the bank specifically for uh, our region called Boresha Mifugo, uh, which uh, basically supports, um, you know, livestock farmers and traders, because we are a livestock-oriented community. You know that very well. Uh, so. All that I think really about me um, and many other issues that the community there knows uh, will make me the, the, uh, the person who probably comes in with a different background that is uh, development oriented. One year from now, <coughs> if you are elected as the next, the new first governor of Garissa County, what is, will be our expectation in your office after 100 days? Um, Obviously, I have, I have a list of priorities to look into or to attend to. Um, among those priorities, uh, everything for us is a priority to start with. Like I told you, our education system, our, you know, the, the, the youth uh, lacking employment, uh, the women lacking empowerment, infrastructure, um, energy, everything for us is a priority because we are basically starting from the scratch. But one that in particular I, I really prickles me a lot is the the issue of poverty. Um, we are a county which is basically uh, suffering from poverty to the extent that we suffer from hunger. We are a hungry uh, county. Our people every other year basically are uh, on, 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 you know, are, are, are out there seeking help from the world, uh, the world coming all the way, feeding us with, uh, uh, y y you know, uh, all sorts of, of, of supplies, uh, as though really we, we can never move out from that circle. Um, I believe uh, very, very strongly so that with a river passing in Garissa town, uh, we can do a lot of irrigation, proper irrigation, that should feed the entire population in that county properly. We're only about 650,000 uh, people in the entire county. And I believe that's a number that's manageable, 
uh, which I believe if really we go serious, we can feed them and we do not need the world every now and then rushing to us to help us. So for me, while everything is priority and everything will take it is, uh, uh, you know, it's a share in terms of our attention, but I believe the issue of hunger uh, will be hopefully my first attack on the line. Again, thank you very much for giving us uh, Sky Zone this opportunity to talk to you about politics and issues that affect uh, Garissa County uh, and especially uh, you being welcome here in the state of Minnesota as diasporans. Uh, we welcome you with open hand and uh, we hope uh, we're hopefully looking to uh, see more of your vision in the coming future. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Governor, is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, probably um, a quick one uh, for the people of Garissa County who may be watching me uh, tonight um, or today, um, I will want to tell them that this is a very, very important opportunity. Uh, we have an opportunity under this new, new constitution um, to elect the right people. We should not miss this opportunity. Uh, we need to sit down properly and um, um, really take time um, on how we uh, move about with uh, this whole matter in, in a way that we do not make mistakes that we regret uh, in the future. Again, we want to say thank you very much and welcome to Minnesota. Thank you, I appreciate it.